Hey guys, Mike Money Gamer here, and I'm here with more Legate 2 Dual Saga, and um, made it to the campground that I was talking about. Let's chat a little bit. Are you taking good care of the flowers, Mike? Flowers? I think mine means the plants at our house. You have to water flowers frequently or they'll die. Of course, they'll also die if you water them too much. Now, um, that bit of information right there, I've actually tested it to see, like, not really like overwatered a plant on purpose to see if it'll die, but like, I read in the um, guide for taking care of your flowers of the game, that it says the more often you water them, the better. And so I don't know if he means like, say if you water like six times in a row, if it means it's gonna kill the plant immediately, or whatever. But yeah, take that advice however you will. I knew you were something special. Sharon, you're all right in my book. See, what did I tell you? I told you you wouldn't be sorry. Her technique. Sure seemed a lot like Alphys' technique. Could she possibly be... Now, I don't think it explains who Alphys is anytime soon. But, um... I don't even actually remember this line of dialogue either, because... It might be something that you see way later in the game if you continue the conversations inside your uh, campground. But other than that, I'm not exactly sure where this line comes from or if it actually is explained any time later. Um, hello, old man. You started this conversation. What are you muttering about, anyway? Hey, what did you say? Who are you calling old man? By the way, just where did you learn those techniques of yours? I've been training hard under my father ever since I was a little kid. He's to tell me you're my successor. Make me proud. Yeah, I was really crazy about my father. Their training meant I got to be with them every day, so I was glad to do it. What did your father do, Sharon? Why, of course, he was a pa Oops! I mean, hee <laughs> hee! Um, I can't tell you. Yeah... Why not? If I told you everything, it would take the mystery out of it, don't you think? I'm more interested with a few secrets. Anything else? Well, let's hurry up and take that secret passage thingy and get to the castle. The secret passage starts at a hotel room. We've got to get to the hotel. Mike, if we're going to the castle, isn't the fastest way through the dumping ground? Yeah. Now, remember, he won't actually say this if you did not open that pathway up. I'm pretty certain about that. Because you wouldn't have even known about it if you didn't open it up. But he's telling you that anyway. He's like, if we're going to the castle, shouldn't we go to the dumping ground? Oh yeah, you're right. Damn, I wish we had that secret passage that didn't go through the dumping ground or the sewers. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah. Right, let me check my stats to make sure we're not being affected by any kind of cooking right now. Looks like we're not, so... Let's see... Do we have anything that we need to cook for her? Spanish omelette. Does pretty good, is that it? Yeah, it's all hers right now. So let's do that so we can start making her stuff. If you think this is a simple omelette, think again. Go on, try it. What's inside? Potatoes? Seems like more. Wow, I didn't know there was a dish like this. This is more filling than I expected. <laughs> oh my god, facts are sure hilarious. <clears throat> anyway, um, that's basically all we can do here, except for like maybe combine some stuff. Um, that'd be a step down, wouldn't it? Oh, it'd make our uh, agility go down, but our charisma would go up again. And what does this do? Crusader adds light, yeah. Uh, ooh, gold fingers. 
and Wingard. I think I'm gonna get the gold fingers. And I can actually make him up to something else if I wanted to. I'm not going to. Uh, guard goes up with this. Let's get the protector boots. Mm, we can't really make anything different than what we already have for our weapons here. Besides, if we did, you can tell it's not going to uh, help us out too much. And this is the hammer blade that we've had forever, so I mean, we can't really do much with that either. Just for Mike alone. Um, for mine, we can get an amber cloak, which does our strength up. This makes MP costs down, though, which is really useful. So we won't stick with that for now. Uh, we can't do anything with that or that, I don't believe. Yeah. Okay, so let's go on to uh, her. <laughs> Rusted katana. <laughs> If we, had a, if we had the materials, we could make a shock ripper, but that'd be kind of hard to make this time. Um, I think the flared sandals would be the best for us at this time. So let's get those. Not that any enemies are going to be using fire on us anytime soon, but um, it is nice to have, just for the fact that it does it gives you a little bit more defense. Other than that, we can't really do anything with her gloves yet. Infectious, well... Hmm. What does this do? AP cost is down, and other than that, it doesn't really do much other for us. So let's keep that for now. We already went through all that. Um, timid plus tonic? Berserk cure? Oh! Interesting. We can make blind cure with the blinding drought. Oh, but it does cost some of our crap too. Um, we haven't been really getting blinded though in a while. Uh, we've been getting venomed, but we have venom cure, so. Virgin Soul. Greedy spirit that thinks of everything in money terms. Doubles gold gained after battle. Oh, okay, that's right. Uh, unassailable pill has damage. No damage received for several turns. Um, this this could actually be very useful for you, but you'd only be able to make one right now. Uh, not targeted by an enemy. That could also be useful. But again, like I said. You'd have to get rid of your unassailable pill for it, and I don't know of any real instances except for boss battles that you would need it, so, eh, it raises attack and defense. This kind of reminds me of that uh, item in uh, um, Super Mario RPG, actually, the... Um, what was that thing called? It was like the red essence. Yeah, the red essence. And you could use it and it would last for like, I think it was like three turns. And you would take absolutely no damage. And it made the fight against the um, Axum Brothers or whatever, or Axum Rangers, I mean, a lot easier because you could survive that breaker beam a lot easier than you could if you um, didn't have it. There's that and then, um, I think the only reason why I would need it is for the next boss battle coming up because it's very tough to win that fight. Uh, other than that, I really don't think I need it right now, so I'm going to wait. Um, we can make more poisons if we wanted to.
Why would you make anything like a poison cure into a poison drought? That'd be kind of stupid. It, it, I mean, I guess you can use it on enemies, but other than that, I don't really see why you would. Because poison and venom cure could be very useful for you. Um. I guess it could be useful. Eh, I'm not gonna do it right now. We could use the heal powders for other things. Ooh, ooh, um. Where's like the re uh, revival elixirs? Yeah, here we go. How do we make. What do we need for revival elixir? Uh, revival bottles? We need one black star sand, white stardust, and three. Uh, not three of them, but, um. One more Mariah Crystal? Uh, found around you now. Okay, um, oh! I must have bought it from there then. Okay, so, um, that's good. If I can, if I can buy them, it's okay. Because revival bottles are a lot more useful than, um, the uh, revival uh, elixirs. I have to get all the way down here for him to do it again. There we go, we'll just make two. Anything else I can make for fun? What can you make the, re the resurrect bottle? Oh yeah. Legendary medicine brings the dead back to full life and it recovers a MP as well. That's neat, but not really necessary. Yeah, and that's it. Okay. Uh, wow. Up to 12 minutes of me just messing around with that. That's kind of funny. Let's save our game here. Oh, boy. Anyway, um... Now, if you're wondering how you got here... Basically, um, damn it, stupid fight, you just have to move, you'll see a path where like a tree in the lower bottom of the screen, you follow okay. it to the left, there'll be a path, if you keep following it, you'll find a path leading down eventually, and you just head down it, but um, let's take out these enemies real quick, which I guess I could do it off screen, I don't really feel like it, and I actually forgot that I have Thunder Sky, um, which means I shouldn't be using Divine Bolt anymore. But I was using it because I forgot all that I even had uh, Thunder Sky. So we have no more upgradable, um, what's it called? Um, upgradable <coughs> Hyper Arts anymore. So we need to just focus more on, um, other things such as, um, why do I keep using that move? Because I don't remember, that's the one that kicks up. We need to focus more on just getting to our next area. Moving on with the plot, really. I know that's probably not what I was talking about at all, but I just got distracted and had to remember to remind myself that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm having so much fun trying to go like find my way around this place again and trying to find all the items. Light from the heavens. Which I can't remember. There's supposed to be an item in that water or not. This is it! Oh, I love that game. Go, Maya. Um, I'm trying to remember. Um, oh yeah, the new equipment that I gave her 
if she uh, hits a guard instead of attacking, she will actually heal herself if she has any missing health, but it costs 10 AP to do it, I believe, or something like that. So it's not necessary to do unless you just really think she needs it. Most of the time she doesn't, though, so... Yeah. You stand pat. See, I also got that super armor hit. Um, if an enemy does less than 5% of your HP, it does no damage, pretty much. So that's kind of a cool fact. That means most enemies I would imagine would do no damage to her. I must be getting stronger. <laughs> and anyway, that's not really necessary. Um, if I can find my remote, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, well, I don't know. I really don't like stopping this episode so early. Maybe if I get into another fight, I'll stop it there. But yeah, basically it's this path right here that you have to go up. And you get to it from that right path over there. Anyway, then, I'm going to stop this here, and when I come back, I will literally be in, you know, this time for real. Bye.